In today's video, I want to show you a quick technique that I use to handle cache busting for CSS and JavaScript files on my projects. So the first thing we need to do is create a helpers folder um, under the app folder. So we'll call it helpers. And then we'll create a file called HTML. And we'll just call it HTML.php. And we're going to create a function here. And we're going to call it style underscore TS for timestamp. And it's going to accept uh, a path. So that's the path to our asset. We're going to grab the last modified timestamp for the file that the user has given us and we're going to add it as a query string to the file path. So we're going to wrap everything in a try catch um, just in case there's a problem with getting the file stamp. So we're going to add a query string here and there we go, file, last, uh, modified. And we're going to do public path, that's the public path, and the path that the user has given us. And then if there's a problem, we're going to catch an exception. And we're just going to do timestamp is equal to nothing. So just in case there's a problem getting the timestamp, I'm still going to return. So here we can do link, concatenate here uh, the path and the timestamp. Next up, we need Laravel to know to load this file. So we're going to open our composer.json file. And we're going to scroll down to auto load and we're going to add a new entry here. It's going to be called files and it's going to be an array. And in the array, we're going to put uh, the path to our helpers file. So it's going to be app helpers html.php and we're going to save. Next, we'll open our terminal and we're going to do a composer dump auto load optimized and we're done. Now let's look at our website here. If we look at the source, we have just a regular, you know, um, link to the app.css. So we're going to come back to the editor and we're going to open our layout file. And here we're going to comment this out. And instead, we're going to use an escaped timestamp and we're going to put CSS app.css. Now we load the browser again and we reload and as you can see we added the timestamp automatically at the end of this file. So this means every time you change the app.css file, the browser will know that it's a new file and will request this new file from the server. This concludes today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it and if you liked it, please like and subscribe.